No worries, Max. Oh, wow, it's nice in here. Eddie? How long have you had this for? This is nice. Uh, quite a while now. Oh, wow. All right, Max, a couple of questions for you. Um, who attacked PDM? Uh, well, that I don't know specifically. Uh, Reed gunned me down. Um, but in terms of people who have like blown up vehicles and left them and like smashed their windows, I, I don't know. It's been happening uh, in the middle of the night when I've been sleeping. You so have no, sure exactly no, no clues, nothing? Uh, like, nothing mean, to go the, off of? The ones that have been the most vocal and angry have been the lost. So my best bet's going to be the lost, but I don't want to give a name that isn't for sure. All right, understood. Um, yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah. I mean, honestly, I was I was assuming you had more info on that, but if you didn't, I really have nothing else to say. Oh, yes, yeah, right. No, I mean, I've been kind of staying away for a little bit because I just really don't feel like getting gunned down, uh, getting shot. And when I have gone down, I know, uh, Dean, when we spoke the other day, you mentioned there'd be security. Uh, I've been down a few times. There was no one really around. So uh, now I've, yeah, I've we, had um, Vinny and Robbie reach out and a few other gangs uh, wanting to support me, but I don't want to get. I don't want things to get messier, so I've said no thank you. Yeah, we got, um, we, 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 we took care of security today. We, we know okay. they haven't been around, so we, we made sure okay. that they know yeah, no, it's their job. Yeah, Chang Gang fully wanted to get involved, but uh, they're just probably wanting to see the city burn, so I just said no thank you. Yeah, yeah it's a good call, probably. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, I you're all good, yeah? Uh, yeah, I mean, my head was shaved. Uh, I was left in a ditch all weekend, but besides that, I'm okay. All right, just be aware oh, that uh, we're uh, currently pulling the strings on uh, resolving this, all right? Okay, thank you. And we'll I... update you on, uh, you know, any decisions we make uh, before we... And uh, do don't make... sell any, any other bikes until um finish talking to everyone. Okay, yeah, that works. Uh, I've talked to a few of the MCs separately. I mean, there's really no, like, one person that runs them all, but, like, Cy Carter from the... Uh, I think he's a lost. I've talked to Jesse from the BBMC... Talk to a few people from HOA. Uh, anyways, long story short, I've proposed this week on week off thing where one week they have full exclusivity, the next week they have the option as well as others. Uh, they all seem to be happy about it, but when I proposed it to Andy the other day, she wasn't too keen on it. So, um, and I just want to emphasize, I guess I really, in case I'm not sure if you know, but the reason why they're this upset initially is because I went from having an MC only to being open to the public. Uh, that's why I was shot down by Reed. Because their only resolution was they wanted this to be MC only. There's no other way. And I just didn't want to set this president where people could just come they down with They want the guns. bikes to be MC only? Yeah, and I didn't want to set this president in the city where you come down like a big bad wolf with a gun pointing at my face and I fold. You know, do people go down to... You know, no, I, I think you made the right decision shop? standing your ground. And nobody should tell yeah. you how to do your fucking business. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I was trying to say to them, I was like, listen, you know, I was cornered at the vault by uh, Reed and Rudy... They were like, listen, we, you know, we need this to go back to MC only. We have members who want bikes. And I was like, okay, well, I did it for a full year, but you know what? Let's let's see. Let's see what we can do here. I had two bids that week. Two. So you're telling me of all the MC members, it's such a hot commodity that two people put a bid in. So that's when I was like, well, no, this doesn't make a business sense. I'm gonna open this back up to everyone, including the MCs. And then I get taken hostage and shot because they quote unquote don't give a fuck about anyone else but themselves is what reed told me see my my issue is here if, uh, listen, uh, if these motherfuckers uh, want to own every fucking bike or whatever sure then you know exchange all the cars in we take them all back and we give you guys all the fucking bikes you guys got done deal yeah um i know the three of us really haven't worked closely um but i did work closely with mr lingberg and i'll tell you that they're almost lucky he's not around because he would have Probably bought I, I wish. The for I cheap. wish I, Leslie yeah, was here no right idea. now. I, I miss him right more than ever. If um, Leslie was here right now, this shit show would be a grand fucking opera. Yeah. Uh, I know. And I've tried to tell it to people because literally everything I've learned is him mentoring me. Like I said, I know the three of us haven't worked closely, but I've worked really close with him. So um, I'm trying to keep his memory alive and run it how he would <laughs> want it ran. And he's taught me not to, not to take shit. You know, you know when to fold them, and you know when not to. And 
I mean, he banned Seaside for a full month over something that was way less than this. And Benji had to write him a poem, you know? Yeah, I think he, I think one of the Seaside members just used the ATM without paying. Yeah. So, and I understand, and I, well, I don't like a lot of people in the city. I know my place and I know that I don't have near the stature that Mr. Lindbergh has, but at the same time, I'm, it's still his business in my mind. So I'm trying to run it to the best of his ability that he would want ran. And yeah. no, we appreciate so. that. Um, okay. and, and I just want to emphasize, sorry, I salute back to certain things. Um, I feel like every day I'm questioned a lot by, you know, I know Dominic called me today. I know. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Uh, let's, let's, yeah. uh, let's say one thing straight here, Max. We have trust in you. Dominic is just new guy, new accountant. We're for big companies. He's very ambitious, getting over himself. We're going to talk to him. Don't worry about him. All right. It's yeah. just, well, just you know, trying to jitters. prove himself. You know? He's no, just trying to sure. prove himself. Yeah. What I was going to say with other stuff, though, is I feel like there's a lot of stuff that's like said over broken telephone. And I feel like, you know, besides the two of you who work with Leslie, not anyone else at that sits at that table every day has worked a day at PDM. They don't know how the things work. Max, so I just need people to ask thanks. me, you know? And I'm going to pause you there for a second. Me and Dean, we are not stupid. We are aware of everything. We consume okay. all the information we get around us. We are very aware of Mila's interest in the PDM and doing anything to paint you oh, guys yeah. in a bad light. We are, we are aware of everything that is going on. Okay. We're not, we're not so it. easily manipulated. No. And uh, okay. if you ever need to, you know, come to that table, just just come, right? You're, you're part of the Cerberus family. Okay. Well, thank you. So if you need anything, you just, you know. Yeah, we're here to take care of it. Listen, this isn't a conversation as us trying to talk you down or we have no trust in you, you know what I mean? We're just making sure things are all good. You okay. know, we, you know, you've been working with Leslie for a long time. Leslie, you know, you, you already know what he means to us and uh, you are a representation of his business and we're trying to just make sure that everything here is going smoothly. Of course. Well, I appreciate it. I do. It's nice to have this FaceTime because I don't really get it much, so I appreciate it. There's something to keep in mind, um, Max, is we're, we're very business orientated, so... The uh, the solution to this problem, um, no matter what it is, it's it's not going to be anything personal. I understand. Just, uh, you know, keep that in mind. Of course, I respect it. And you will be known uh, of the solution before we even really make oh, a move. Oh, of course, yeah. Okay, yeah, that works. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Now you uh, might hear on the streets that uh, Cerberus is coming to a deal with the MC. They just they just have a meeting with them. I just let them that. Uh, just told them what they wanted to hear while uh, me and Dean really just sit on all this information and think about what we do. So just don't believe yeah. what you hear anything right now unless it comes from me and Dean, all right? So fed good. him a load of shit just so that they would stop attacking PDM, basically. Oh, I appreciate that big time. Give Until we luck. figure out a solution, all right? Okay. Thank you. No worries, Max. Right. Appreciate it, man. All right, cool. Thank anything you. Anything so else you give us a call. And listen, if you if you need to have a meeting with servers, don't be afraid to call any of us and we'll have a sit down and, and go over shit. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, I appreciate both of you a lot. Thank you. Don't worry, Max. You have a good have night, a good my friend. One. Thanks. Um, shit. I fucking wish Leslie was here. Yeah. It was, it was almost uh sad solving this without him. Because the way Leslie would solve this is not just the way that I'm going to solve this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh... I mean, the way I see it is, ultimately, you know, we control those bikes right now, so we can either go business route and solve it for everyone, or they attack our Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We control the bikes. Yep. Leslie would never make a deal with these motherfuckers if he controlled the bikes. What would Leslie do? He would not back down. He would probably buy all the bikes and give them away. Yeah, but there's also that one side of Leslie that rarely comes out where I, I get to him, I get to his soft spot and bring out his big open heart. You know what I mean? You know that side I'm talking about? Yeah, he definitely would not consider going into business with them. So what if we do not go into business with them, but we ship the bikes out of PDM, establish a new business for these bikes with our own... Uh, new owner considering Matt you know Max's reputation with them is in the fucking gutter and we just fucking print money baby fuck that then who's gonna run it I mean, we have a plethora of employees yeah but who do we care about that's not gonna get shot when this shit happens again that's a, that, I guess that's the other thing as well is because we're hearing so many different sides here because Max is straight up telling us that these bikers think these bikes are for them and only them. Right? And we're hearing other shit from yeah. Andy and Reed. 
who I have a lot of respect for Andy, but I know she does not like me. And uh, so I don't, I don't know if I can get a, a, a true opinion of or a true or t- truths out of her. Uh, Reed, I know, is a crazy fuck. So it's very hard uh, to have a conversation with him. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the move is here, Ding. So we, we can go, let's say we took them out of PBM and put them in our own shop and just ran it ourselves. The EMCs may try to look for alternative import methods to buy bikes, right? Which would then kill our business. They wouldn't look for alternatives if we offer them a slice of the business, but then we'd be a business with are attacking mm, yeah. that's a good point actually well that, that's so, why that's why it circles back the the one man that i can work with who i respect the fuck out of uh is rudy you know yeah but because we control the bikes here's the thing like if we went and offered it to rudy the other mcs are gonna get pissed right would they though? I think I would imagine every MC, sure, maybe. maybe except from, I mean, is Dundee's crew in them? I don't know. From, from all the MCs uh, groups, I feel like a lot of them respect the fuck out of Rudy. Um, well, we could offer it and say, look, we'll go 50%. You know, and offer fifty percent to Rudy and say if he wants to split his fifty with other MC leaders or whatever, then he can. Or we MC go the Leslie route and be aware that we control these bikes and offer him twenty percent and be like, "This is your opportunity here to run a business and control where the, these bikes are shipped into manufacture, and we'll give you twenty percent of the business and you fucking run it." <laughs> That's the Leslie route because he would still add some pettiness in there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. It should be 80 20. Like, I'm trying to see it's so hard because for me, I would just do 50 50, but I'm like, Leslie would never do that. So, one of the issues we have as well, if they can, contr- if the MCs control the prices of the bikes, they're going to sell them at shit money. So, we might not even make much, you know? Well, we can add some stipulations there, right? Uh, you know, we value the bikes. Be like, you can't sell it for any less than this. Whatever the, the bikes are value that. I don't even really care for the money. It's just cool to, uh, you know, like I said, be in a new market. Yeah. Give them 20%. They run the whole shit show. Oh, my we God. Dean, 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 Dean. And if these motherfuckers try to import their own bikes or whatever, we just fucking go to Mickey and we push legislation to increase the import taxes of motorcycles a hundredfold. Yes, I like that. Like, we have the control here, right? And Leslie would be aware of that. Now, do we just go straight to Rudy? Or do we go through the people that approached us? Uh, Ray is not a businessman. The other guy, I have no idea who the fuck he is. Andy, uh, I would love to work with her, but I, I, I don't know. It's just, I don't think our relationship's repairable. It didn't, it did, I mean, I, 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 I don't really hold on to grudges like I used to anymore, so I have no problem, uh, you know, resetting my relationship with them. But I, you know, at the same time, I can't ignore the fact that I did a lot of shit to those motherfuckers back in the day. Hmm. Um, I mean, Dean, she, you know, she still owes us her finger or her fucking firstborn. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Although, we kind of only really cared about that because of Leslie. Yeah. Bassam, you know. She almost yeah, did it the fuck Bassam. But uh, that's the issue with that uh, with Andy, and then obviously Andy is an extension of the HOA and SIS, right? So 
It'd be hard to have a relationship there, I think. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, shit. Um, they said they're going to come back to us anyway with a, something, right? So do we just sit on it and wait for them? Oh, yeah, regardless, I think we sit and wait on it. Uh, wait to hear their offer. <clears throat> but I, I do think, though, if we catch Rudy tomorrow morning, we speak to him because he's, you know, he's a very early guy. So it's hard for me to see him much. And, and, but, but if by some chance he's awake in the morning, I would like to speak to him. What do you think? Uh, I mean, it's, Rudy's the type of guy you can say, hey, you know, come by at this time and he'll be there. Yeah, yeah. I might even just, uh, you know, shoot him an email. Uh, you know, I think it's too late now, but tomorrow when I first wake up and see if he can come to the city so we can talk. All right. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Yeah. And then we just see where it goes. Like I said, we have the control here. We'll, we'll see what, uh, you know, throw a bunch of shit at the wall and see what fucking stinks, right? Yeah, pretty much. Jesus. That's just been back to back to back. Now, um, this FIB deal, I really want to fucking secure uh, this fucking, more, what was his name, Morningwood? Underwood? What the fuck is this guy have any sort of, uh, you know, connections to building a fucking attack helicopter, Dean? Should we see if he's around? You got his number? Yeah, yeah, he's, uh... Yeah, give him a call. call. me a lot. Hey, it's urgent. It's urgent. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, it's a it's a football. Just come and meet us. We need to meet you. Yeah, you keys, Dean. It's important. You just said the cars out. They're on a football. Hello? Jesus Christ. This is the most important conversation you never have in your life. Test control. Hello. Hey, sir, the front door is unlocked. Feel free. Oh. Thanks. Sir? Hello? What the fuck are you doing here? Hi. I'm just going door to door to local businesses. My name is uh, Robert Wish. No. Part of Buckstar's Pest Control. Yeah. I'm uh, giving free appraisals to, uh, you know, many businesses of Los How Santos. Much? It's free. Thou. Uh, I'll give you 10 Technology. grand. Clean the club out. Call me when you're done. What the heck? Where's my number? It's $150. Yep. Who are you chasing? How can it be the biggest bust if you don't even know who you're chasing? Could be big, so you don't actually know if it's big. What car are you chasing? We gotta talk to Bass as well. Jesus Christ. They just call me back when you're done, alright? Hurry up. Try to stab around today? This guy is fucking chasing a boost. It's like, oh, I can't come to an important meeting. Yeah. 